today our lecture is on yarn spinning methods there are different spinning methods with respect to applications and with respect to different working principles are used in manufacturing of yarn in textile industry few methods are like ring spinning air jet spinning open end spinning compact spinning friction spinning electrostatic spinning these are the different and very famous methods used in manufacturing of the yarn here we will discuss one by one all the methods first we uh, discuss about the spinning method yarn spinning is the process of turning fibers into yarn different spinning methods vary based on working principles and applications are used for manufacturing of yarn here is an overview of the most common spinning methods first is ring spinning very commonly used method in spinning industry and in the world ring spinning the working principle of ring spinning is in the ring spinning fibers are twisted and wound simultaneously roving slightly twisted fibers is drawn through a drafting system to reduce its thickness and then it passes through a spindle and twisted by a traveler rotating around a ring in the ring spinning three activities are done first drafting is done as roving passes through drafting system so weight per unit length or you can say length per unit weight changes when roving passes through the drafting system reduces its thickness and second it is twisted by traveler twisting is done between the area of end of drafting system nip and traveler here twisting process is done and the third it is wound on the ring bobbin so three activities first drafting second twisting and third winding is done in the ring spinning principle ring spinning methods users it produces strong fine and smooth yarn suitable for high quality fabrics like shirts bed linens and finer fabrics so this was the overview of ring spinning method second is open end spinning open end spinning is also commonly used spinning methods for manufacturing of yarn in open end spinning fibers are fed into a rotor that spins at high speed where they are twisted and then pulled out as a yarn there is no need of roving making it faster than ring spinning so in this principle fibers are fed into a rotor that spins at high speed and where they are twisted and then pulled out on as a yarn there is no need of roving so roving process are the simplex machine process flyer machine process it is skipped in this principle from drying to ring this process is done users simply are typically used for coarser yarn suitable for denim towels and other bulkier fabrics this was the overview of open end are open end router spinning methods next is air jet spinning 
working principle of air jet spinning is fibers are twisted by a jet of air which creates the yarn yarn is formed by wrapping fibers around the core of parallel fibers so in this method you can say fibers are twisted by a jet of air which creates the yarn the fiber is formed by wrapping fibers around the core of parallel fibers so in this principle fibers are wrapped around the core of parallel fibers in the case of air jet spinning common uses are common for medium to coarser yarn used in bed sheets towels and fabrics requiring less strength this method is used fourth is friction spinning this is also used very rare uh, but used in textile industry friction spinning the working principle of friction spinning is fibers are drawn into a spinning drum where they are twisted through a friction between a drum and rotating belt this is high speed process in this principle i can repeat it fibers are drawn into a spinning drum where they are twisted through a friction between the drum and rotating belt this is high speed process so friction spinning is used used for low twist soft yarn ideal for non woven fabrics blankets and insulation materials as by the name friction spinning so fibers are drawn into a spinning drum where they are twisted through a friction friction process involved in the friction spinning friction between drum and rotating belt so this is why it is called friction spinning method next and fifth process is vortex spinning it is uh, upcoming or becoming a very common uh, method in textile for manufacturing of yarn in vortex spinning working principle it is similar to air jet spinning fibers are feed into a vortex of air that twist the fibers into the yarn this method produces a more compact and smoother yarn it is just like a air jet spinning but uh, this process produces a more compact and smoother yarn with a good quality this method is suitable for fabrics that need high durability and less spilling as it is more compact so it has less spilling such as sports wear and casual wears sixth process is yarn spinning with electrostatic spinning ya electro spinning working principle of electro spinning is high voltage electric field draws draws the fibers from a polymer solution creating a extremely fine fibers these fibers are collected as a continuous filament so it is uses are produces nano fibers for medical textiles filtration and high performance applications this is this is the unique process you can say high voltage electric field draws the fibers from polymer solution draw the fibers from polymer solution creating extremely fine fibers these fibers are collected as a continuous filament so uses are like 
produces nanofibers for medical textile filtration and high performance application this is called the electro spinning method next is compact spinning method compact spinning method is a principal you can say principal is a modification of ring spinning where fiber strands are compressed before twisting resulting in a few fewer hairs are a fiber fly off so when the fiber strands are compressed before twisting and resulting in a high are uh, resulting in fewer hairs are uh, fiber fly off it will produce a compact yarn this is a just like a modification on the ring spinning normal ring spinning machine which produces a compact yarn with a good hairiness are with a good quality and even good strength as compared to non compact yarn there are different methods of uh, compacting aerodynamics methods uh, mechanical methods we will discuss in another lectures the uh, mechanisms are the principles of compact spinnings it will be another lecture so further we you uh, discuss uses produces a smoother and stronger yarn for fine quality garments skirting and fabrics and knitwear this was the overview of yarn spinning method or compact spinning method summary each method has its unique advantages and specific application with a choice depending on desired yarn properties like strength fineness and softness i hope by this uh, lecture your concept about the spinning methods used in manufacturing of yarn and its applications would be very clear we have discussed about ring spinning electrostatic spinning air jet spinning vortex spinning and open end spinning methods and we will see you in next lecture with another different topic for more videos please subscribe the channel like and share with others